wing is a clause on the Srimad Bhagavatam. First Canto, 16th Chapter, Text Number 11 Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Recorded on January 8, 1974, in Los Angeles Translation Maharaj Pariksit sat on a chariot drawn by black horses. His flag was marked with the sign of a lion. Being so decorated and surrounded by charioteers, cavalry, elephants and infantry soldiers, he left the capital to conquer in all directions. <clears throat> so each king had different colored horses and differently marked flag on the top of the chariot. The Arjun's chariot was drawn by white horses. Sita Hari, Sita means white. And his grandsons, his horses are of blackish, not Shama is not black, black. Swadhi, no, blackish. Turamma, Juri. The horse, four horses in chariot, and there is a charioteer, and flag marked with lion. This lion is not to be considered an ordinary lion. This lion is Hmm? Mrigendra or uh, Narahari, Nishingare. Uh, Arjun's chariot was the flag marked with Bajanga, Rumanji. Rumanji. The Krishna's chariot flag is marked with Garuda. So these are the distinctive marks. One will understand immediately this is such and such king's chariot. That mark is there. So Arjun kept upon him uh, Bhajangaji, Hanuman, because he considered Hanuman his guru. Hanuman was servant of Lord Ramchandra. He fought the battlefield of Lanka between Ram and Ravan. He could not use any weapon, but he was very strong. He, he knew how to throw stones. In this way, he fought in the battle and owned over the Ravana. Ravana was killed by Lord Ramchandra. So Vaishnava does not mean uh, the, he cannot do anything else except chanting. That is, of course, the supreme objective, Savanam Kirtanam Vishnu, to hear about Vishnu and chant about Vishnu. That is very experienced life. Experienced Vishnu. He can concentrate chanting just like Hridas Thakur. Vidas Thakur was chanting, but Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Nityananda Prabhu, they were preaching. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, a very young age, twenty-four years only, he took sannyas. Why? Huh? <coughs> uh, Sakya, Rajalakhi, that is that verse. 
Vandi Mahakurushati Charanaravinda. That is, he is predicted. The Lord will give up his Lakshmi uh, <coughs> and will take sannyas and preach. These are stated in the Vedic literature. So this is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There are many evidences in the uh, Shastras about Sri Chaitanya, the Lord, Supreme Lord, taking up sannyas and preaching. So we accept Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu not only by his uncommon actions, but also on the evidence of the Shastra. You can accept. Not that any rascal comes that I am incarnation of God. No, no. We, we cannot accept that. We must first of all see that he is mentioned in the Shastra and he is actually acting uncommonly, which is not possible by any human being. These two things, features, must be, just like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we accept the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There are many instances he is playing like ordinary man, but at times showing the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Just like in Jagannath Puri, Ratha festival, Sometimes the Ratha chariot will be stuck up, will not move. People draw it, uh, but does not move. Even King Pratarudra engages some elephants, but the Lord is not moving. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would say, All right, let me try. So he would go backside of the car and with his head push it and very easily it will go. And this is extraordinary. Uh, even the elephants, big, big elephants could not draw, but by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pushing by head, I, even it, there was no need of drawing it, uh, catching the rope. Uh, Similarly, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was performing Kirtan, he used to form four parties. And each party will see that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is present there. So there are many other things which is not possible by ordinary human being. These things have to be test. Not very uh, small, insignificant. Uh, just like in India, there are so many so-called incarnation of God, or God, they declare themselves God. But that, that God is for the fools and rascals, not for any intelligent man. Uh, intelligent man will taste it by the description of the Shastra, Sadhu Shastra, Guru Bhakti, Tinete Kuriya Vikko. Uh, anything we shall accept uh, through Sadhu, devotees. Uh, if devotees accept something, that is an accept. And Shastra, not only devotee accepts, but it is confirmed with the Shastra and the revealed scripture. Sadhu Shastra. And Guru, and Guru also will say, yes, it is all. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is accepted by Sadhus like Advaita Acharya, Gadadhar, Sivas, Vrajas Thakur, in his own. They are sadhus accepted. 
And Shastra also says in Mahabharat, in Srimad Bhagavat, in the Upanishad, Puranas, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's name and activities are mentioned. Deyam sadapari bhavagnam avishta deyam. This verse, it is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, also in the Ramayana. And Krishna varnam tisha krishna sang panga asparsalam jaggai sankirtanai prahi jajanti hi sumi It is mentioned in Bhagavat, 11th canto that the Supreme Personality of Godhead in this age, Kali Yuga, will be Krishna, Bar- Krishna Varnam, or as describing Krishna. He is Krishna, but Krishna Varnam, Pisa Akrishna. Varna means also category. That is Brahman Varna, Chatriya Varna, Vaishya-varna, Shudra-varna. In the horoscope, as we discussed the other day, jata-karma, after the birth of the child, everything characteristic, what will be his future, everything is mentioned in the horoscope. So in the horoscope it is stated, Brahman-varna, Kshatriya-varna, Shudra-varna, like that. In which category this child belongs? Even if he is born in a non brahmin family, but what will be his characteristic? That is stated. That is called Brahman Varna. Uh, similarly, Chatriya Varna, Vishwana, everything is predicted by astrological calculation. So Sita Yitana Mahaprabhu is predicted in the Srimad Bhagavatam and other scriptures as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We do not accept Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu simply because he, he was a saintly person. There is controversy about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu among the Vaishnava community, just as the Nimbarka Sampradaya. They say that we accept Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as a great devotee. <coughs> but we, Gauriya Sampradaya, we say that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead because it is in the stated in the Shastra. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna. He is Krishna in the category of Krishna, Krishna Varnam, just like Brahman Varnam. Krishna Varna, the same category. But he is by complexion hero, he is not Krishna. Tisha or Krishna. Tisha means by the bodily skin, just like we have different color, different skin, different color. Similarly, Tisha by skin is not Krishna, is not black. Tisha or Krishna. Krishna means not black. The not black means you can accept any other color which is not black. So that there is proof in this Hastra that Lord Krishna has also many colors. Shukla Rakta Sathapita. When similarly, when Krishna's first was made by Gargumuni, he said that this child formerly had Shukla Raktas Tathapita. He was white color, he was yellow color, and he was red color. So this Pita, yellow color, is also Krishna's another color. Krishna Varnam Tisha Krishna. Here, Tisha Krishna. Akrishna means not black. So not black means you must take the other three, namely white, 
rain and pito. So other two callers, the Sattva Yuga and Dhava Yuga, was manifested. Huh? Red collar and white collar, white grivo, white collar. So the pito, Krishna collar is also free, therefore pito, yellow is collar. Srila uh, Jiva Goswami has very nicely. Uh, <coughs> so, Krishna Vandam Kisha Krishna Sangha Panga Astha Parsadam. Another feature is Sangha Panga Astha Parsadam. Astha Parsadam. Astra means statement. Then the Kali Yuga. Krishna does not come with weapon. In other jugas, the Lord comes with weapon, just like Lord Ramchandra. He came with bows and arrows to fight with Ravan. Similarly, Krishna also appeared with his Sudarsan chakra. Because in those days, the demons were killed by weapons. Krishna killed many demons because Krishna has got two kinds of activities. Paritrana sadhuna vinasayati duskita. For sadhu, simply to deliver them and for the demons to kill them. But the result is the same. That is called absolute. Whether Krishna pass somebody and kill somebody, the result is the same. Therefore Krishna is absolute. It is not ordinary fortune to be killed by God. It is a great fortune. That's in Ravan and the Hiranagasipu, they were Krishna's personal guards. Jaivirya. Some or other, they become offender to the Kumaras. So they cursed him that he was not well behaved. They stopped him going in the house of Krishna, Narayan. So they became very angry. They cursed him that you do not deserve this place, you must go to the material world. In the material world there is envious, means jealous. In the spiritual world you have become envious, so you, you are not fit. You must go down to the spiritual, material world. So they will become very much disturbed. Lord Narayan personally came out to settle up. If they see a mean curse, it cannot be drawn. You have to go. And <clears throat> but after going in the material world, if you treat me as your enemy, then in three bars you will be liberated and you will come back. But if you treat me as my friend, then it will take seven, seven bars. So this idea, we shall become your enemy, sir. Uh, so therefore this Ravan, Hiranyakashipu, they are Jaivija, and they appear to be a very strong enemy. To become an enemy of Krishna, that is not also a joke. He has to fight with Krishna. It is not ordinary thing. No ordinary man can fight. So Vaishnava commentation is that when Krishna wants to fight. The fighting is not possible in the spiritual world. And whom we fight? Everyone is engaged in the service. So, therefore, to fight, he has to come here to execute his mission. Vinasaya Dushkita. So, kill the uh, duskita, miscreants. So when he personally finds the 
Duskritam can be finished simply by indication of Krishna. The material energy is so powerful. Jasyadraya, Brahmati Sang Vitakala Chakra. Even the sun, the most powerful, Asesa Teja, high temperature, Asesa Teja, unlimited temperature. That sun is also moving with his orbit, Jasyadraya, under the order of Krishna. Jasyadraya, Brahmati Sang Vitakala Chakra, Govindamadi Kudusam, Tamaru. So, to kill a divan in this material world, the Lord does not require to come Himself. But He comes in special case. Just like Krishna came to kill Kamsa, to kill Ravana, to kill Yarnakasipu, like that. So that is also His pastime. So his devotees are also like that. Uh, they have to execute the mission of Krishna. Uh, that's why we are Parikhid Maharaj. He is a great devotee of Krishna. So he is going out with soldier to fight. Uh, similarly, Dhruva Maharaj also, he fought. Prahlad Maharaj fought. Because they were kings. So their duty is to uh, subdue, to conquer over the demons. Uh, not that because one is Krishna devotee, uh, he should not do any other thing. Uh, if required, a devotee can do anything as ordered by Krishna, as, as Krishna ordered Arjuna to fight. Arjuna personally was not inclined to fight. Uh, he is Vaishnava. He rather wanted to forgive and let them enjoy Krishna. I do not wish to fight with my uh, cousin brothers. Uh, I cannot tolerate their death, my grandfather. Uh, so better I will not fight, let them enjoy the kingdom. Then Krishna said no. That cannot be. Uh, it is my plan that they should be killed. So you must fight. Uh, so therefore, a devotee, his duty is to carry out the order of Krishna. Uh, therefore he fought. Personally he did not want to fight. But he cannot disobey the order of Krishna. That is not possible. What is say vachanam tam? When Krishna inquired, what is your decision? He said, yes, even though I do not like to fight, still, because it is your order, I must fight. What is say vachanam tam? So devotee hasn't got any personal decision. That is the process of Krishna consciousness. Even parampara prātam me mangraja say with you. Uh, we should decide by the order of Krishna through the disciplic succession by a media, the spiritual master. That is equal. Uh, a devotee cannot decide personally. If Krishna deserves, if somebody say, so we cannot see Krishna personally, then you have to decide by Krishna's representative. If your spiritual master, guru, says that you do this, that is Krishna's order. That is Krishna. Therefore it is said, jasya prasadāda bhagavat prasad. By satisfying the spiritual master, you satisfy the Supreme Personality of God. That is very natural. Just like when you go to your work, the immediate person who is in charge of your work, he must be satisfied. You don't jump up to the proprietor. The proprietor will be automatically satisfied. If something is done 
and the proprietor sees that the immediate uh, office superintendent is satisfied, then he accepts. Yes, that's all right. Because we have to respect personally. Uh, if the superintendent of the office says that, yes, this clerk or this man was nice, then proprietor accepts. Similarly, jasya uh, prasadad bhagavat prasad. We have to uh, satisfy our spiritual master, sivaya, uh, tadvidhi, pranipatena, pariprasnena, sivaya, upadakshanti, tad jnanam, jnanina, tad tadarsina. So Parikhita Maharaj is going to conquer over the world. He was appointed by his grandfathers to become the emperor of the world. But he was not a coward. Not that because his grandfathers appointed, he will sit down uh, and comfortably in his capital and let things go on uh, as it is. He doesn't care. No. Personally, he wanted to prove himself that he is not a nominated president only. He is actually president. He uh, is not nominated because his grandfather nominated that for him. Because he may be a rascal number one. No. The nomination was there, but also on full strength. Uh, but if the people are given for nomination, as it is the practice now, by vote, the ordinary people, they are all rascals. What is the value of their vote? Therefore, another rascal is selected. Thank you very much.